Oh, folks, it is the most wonderful time of the year. Not only is it Insomnia Gaming Festival, one of my favourite conventions that takes place all year, but the best thing about this convention is it signifies the start of a new year of conventions. Convention season has begun. It's I-70 behind me in the NEC, the first of many conventions we're going to be going to this year. Let's go and have a look around. Well, I am in, and as ever, it is crazy hot in here. So I apologize for me being a sweaty, sweaty mess. Um, hopefully we had a nice thumbnail for the video with that in the background. If not, it means it didn't email through properly, but I've just had that done. I'm just having an explore. I've been here all day. I came in first thing this morning and went straight over there in the streaming zone and I streamed all morning. I now know where all the noise was coming from while I was streaming. The main stage is behind me there. But yeah, we streamed all morning. I've then been out, grabbed some lunch. It's nearly four o'clock and I'm just getting back in to actually have a look around the show floor for the first time. So that is the plan. Let's have an explore around the show floor. So this whole area here is the indie gaming section. We've got like some VR stuff going on over here. The other side of that, just on the way in, we had Nintendo, where I think Nintendo are doing some tournaments and whatnot. Here we have what looks like the tabletop section, which is always worth a little bit of an explore to see if we can pick up some convention priced Pokemon cards especially with the new set having just released, although I'm not actually seeing anywhere to purchase tabletop stuff in this area. Ah, here we are. Here we are. So nice selection of board games, card games. One day I'll replace my version of Ticket to Ride that the girl stole from me years ago. So much stuff here. They've got the paints for painting, for people who are into that kind of thing. I must not get back into Warhammer. Loved it as a kid, must not get into it as an adult. I already have too many expensive hobbies. D&D &D is definitely something I've always been tempted to try. That's interesting. That is one of my favorite games that's released in the last couple of years. Didn't realize there was a board game version of it. So that might be worth checking out. I'm not gonna be buying any board games today because I've hurt my back when I was setting up for the stream. I, I bent around the back of the PC to put my USB drive in and my back just went, nope, you're not doing that. So I'm now limping around, struggling a little bit. So I can't carry anything. I've already got a goodie bag full of Nick's makeup who have sponsored the event that I've got to take home to Anna. And that's about all I can carry for now. But that Dwarf Romantic game is very much on my shortlist. I'm not seeing any of the new set of Pokemon. So that's probably for the best. That's going to save me some money. And then over here, I've seen this on Twitter. I'm already aware that this exists and I am very intrigued by it. We have the Yorkshire Tea I want to call it an ice cream van, but it's a, it's a tea van. The Yorkshire tea van with a Yorkshire tea Xbox controller out the front of it as well. So over here, we've got what they're describing as the family gaming section, which just looks like more Nintendo Switches. The Nintendo Switch tournament section is just the other side of that. Um, that is where I was streaming from this morning where I hurt my back, which is why I'm now limping around the place. Not ideal. Um, there is a lot of Football Manager content creators here, which is new for this event. Um, I was in a restaurant at lunchtime, just minding my own business, having some lunch on my own, and six Football Manager streamers all turned up and dragged me over to their table. So that's quite cool. We're taking over the world. Um, there's a helicopter as well, because why wouldn't there be a helicopter? At insomnia there is a lot of vr stuff here this time which does seem to be 
more of a big deal than it's been here previously. This looks like a big VR experience in a big inflatable tent thing, which there doesn't seem to be a queue for, which probably indicates it's the sort of thing you have to book and it's probably all booked up. Uh, yeah, sorry, fully booked. So, uh, can't really see, it doesn't look like there's anything going on in there. And then we get into the, uh, the marketplace, which is traditionally my favorite part of any convention. Because I get to go and buy things that I don't need. So let's have a little rummage around to see what we can find in here. So we're not really on the lookout for anything in particular this time. An Ultimate Warrior mask up there, very nice. I am still operating my rule that I put in place at conventions last year, where if I see anything with my name on, I have to buy it. So if we see any Kevins from anything, it has to go in my collection of Kevins. The most likely place for me to find something like that is in the pop vinyl, so we'll have a look at those. The dangerous part of the pop vinyls is I know, I know Kevin from Home Alone is about an 80 pound pop vinyl and I've managed to miss him at the moment. That is so cool. Queen as pop vinyls is awesome. They're all so expensive. They tend to just have the rarer ones at conventions now. Many years ago, I'm so old, but years ago I'd come to conventions and just be able to pick up like four or five pop vinyls and have change from 50 pounds. I sound so old. Now it'll get you one, but they'll be rarer and cooler. So I guess that's good. Easier for fitting things back in the suitcases. Got Stan Lee up there. Freddie Mercury on his own. That is very cool as well. Master Chief. I have a Master Chief pop, but it's not as cool as that one. Altair, I've not seen that one before, which is also very cool. Luckily, not seeing anything seeing any Kevins there's a lot a lot of anime stuff here and then occasionally mixed in with the anime stuff you'll just have a random Rick and Morty or Harry Potter which I don't think either of them qualify as anime um, but most of this stuff definitely is which thankfully is not really my cup of tea so I'm getting to avoid it which is probably a good thing I think Anna would probably want that Friends one. That's pretty cool. I think we've we've survived the pop vinyls. There will be more, but we don't have to buy any from that one, I don't think. Because I've tweaked my back, I can't bend down and look at the low down ones. So if they've hidden all the good stuff low down, I won't be buying that because I can't bend to get to it today. What have we got here? Dice and dice rolling paraphernalia. I always quite fancy one of these, but I don't play enough board games to justify having one. And then we've got more pop vinyls here. Lots of. Lots of. All right, have we been down this road? I think we have been down here. I'm still on the lookout for a giraffe rig plush. Someone did send me one that they bought at the Pokemon Center in Japan, which is greatly appreciated. Doesn't change the fact I still have to find one of my own in the wild though, which I have still never done. Even going to the Pokemon World Championships last year, the Pokemon Center they had there. Matthew, Matthew, he's right there. These are very cool. I'm just enough of a trainer guy these days to be quite happy wearing a pair of these around the house. But Anna would think I was I was ridiculous. They are cool. Let's see what we've got down this way. So this is a fairly typical one at most conventions. All these uh, shots from movies and various pop culture things. More of the same over there. We've got t-shirts in here, I think. T-shirts. And then plushies on the outside of that one. No giraffe rig there though. Goodie bags, mystery bag things, cyber power gaming bus. 
I don't know what is entailed in a cyber power gaming bus, but it is right there. And there we have Monster Energy giving away energy drinks, which I can't drink because I can't have energy drinks. I'm, I'm aware this video is listing like a bunch of my ailments at the moment. Uh, we've got some kind of uh, motor vehicle. Means nothing to me. But I'm sure there'll be somebody watching who can explain to me what that is. Is that Formula One? Is that something else? I'm not really into motorsport at all. More Pokemon over here. Lots of Japanese Pokemon actually, which is cool. Oh, more Pokemon over here. I must not buy Pokemon cards. We're going on a holiday in like three weeks. Anna will kill me if I spend some of our holiday spending money on Pokemon cards or a sword. <laughs> I should not have come to this event. This was a bad idea. One shirt, one hoodie for £25, always good value. Never usually available in my size though, which is probably a good thing. More cool art there. And then we've got another little panel stage. I think this is the stage that the Football Manager show was on yesterday. I wasn't in yesterday, so I wasn't able to see that, but good to see more Football Manager stuff being part of these kind of events. And then we've got the usual uh, sports almanac, Wonka bar, Minecraft glasses. This stall is at every event I've been to ever. The Death Note notebook. It's all very cool, but if I was going to buy any of that, I would already own it because I've seen it all eight times a year for the last 15 years. Got more art over there. This whole marketplace area does seem a little bit bigger than last time which is nice. What I've not seen much of in here yet is actual playable games, which it might just be that I've not got to that part yet. We've got the LAN party and eSports arena is over there, so we'll go and have a look at that in a minute. Got more mystery bags and Xbox lava lamps, which you could get them in B&M around Christmas time. I imagine that's where they got them from loads of phone cases. I mean, this is a weird thing to see at a gaming convention. Just loads of phone cases and cables. Who is coming to Insomnia and buying a phone case? Bonkers. And then this does look really cool. I am officially booked on this. There's a creator session of Zombie Checkpoint after the main event closes tonight that I am booked on. But now I've hurt my back, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I might, I'll see how I'm feeling when the time comes, but it's a, a whole area thing in there where you basically get chased by zombies and presumably try to avoid dying, which does sound fun, but I'm already pretty broken, so we might have to give that a miss, which is a shame. We've got card grading here, which I never know how I feel about card grading at conventions especially for a grading company that I've not heard of. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever used any of those companies, but I kind of feel like if you're going to get a card graded, get it graded by one of the major companies so it actually increases the value of your card. Because I can't imagine some company no one's ever heard of would have any effect. So it kind of seems a bit pointless. There's some kind of Sony thing over here. I don't think it's PlayStation. Looks like it's more TVs and accessory bits and bobs that are going on in there. Sony eSports, but not, not PlayStations. We've got a whole little streaming booth in there that looks quite cool. They've got a microphone. I didn't get a microphone in mine. And there we have Monster. More Sony streaming stuff. And we are into University eSports. So there's a little eSports set up there. We've got Intel here with a load of computers. So this is this is more like what I was expecting to be in the other hall. So they've kind of spread everything out a little bit more this time it seems. So we've got Pringles gaming there. Reminds me of the KFC console that was a thing a few years ago. 
that I don't think ever saw the light of day, but there's a whole load of Pringles shenanigans. We've got a little battle royale area. There's four guys in Fortnite tournaments, no one in there. And then merchandise over here. We've got to go and have a look at some merchandise. I think there's probably a bigger merchandise stand back in the main hall that I've missed somehow. But I don't actually have a hoodie with me, so if they have big boy sizes in hoodies, which they probably won't, a hoodie might be nice. Do they have any socks for Anna? Because they've changed the Insomnia logo. So the ones I got her last year are now out of date. Insomnia shorts, now you're talking. If ever there was an incentive to lose a bit of weight, it's to get some insomnia shorts. And then over here is the main big like esports arena area with the massive big screen and spots for five people on each team. It's all being filmed, all very fancy, lots of seating. We need to get a streamer showdown up there at some point. It would be really cool. And then I think that's the back end of the Battle Royale section that we looked at before. Bars and food places in here, because of course, one of the big things about Insomnia is you can bring your own computer, which is what this big area is over here. And not only can you bring your own computer and just be in this area for like five days, but you can also camp on site as well. So if you're camping on site, obviously you need somewhere to eat your meals. So, and beer, presumably. So we've got all that going on in here. And then this whole massive hall in here is people who've brought their own PCs. The way it works, I've only ever done this once and I didn't sleep here, but you basically, they let you in on Thursday afternoon to set up and start camping and then you don't have to leave until Monday afternoon and this hall for all the land gaming is open 24-7 well not 24-7 but 24 hours a day from Thursday through to Monday so you can just come as a group and just hang out in there play games the whole time this area where you can get your food from is then open for you to grab food and then the main convention hall where we were before is the bit that's just open for the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, like normal hours, 10 till six. But that bit back there is open the whole time. And if I was 20 years younger, I would be all over that. So I'm back in the main hall, just off the back of the marketplace section. We've got more, more chairs there. So I think we had GT Omega chairs before. These are under seat. These are both chair brands I've had in the past and now don't use. Um, but we have got, with some proper lighting this time, I'm gonna have a merch stand so we can have a proper look at the, uh, the merch situation that we've got. As ever, we're on the lookout for socks. And it doesn't look like we've got any. Oh, there are some socks up there, but they're the old logo. They're exactly the same as the socks Anna already has. So we don't need to buy socks, which I guess is a good thing. Is that a towel? I guess if you're here for the weekend, maybe you need a towel. They're selling the exact lanyards they gave me as a creator. And there's your insomnia towel and flip-flops and socks. There we go. We did have socks and bags and various other bits and bobs. And I think, have we now seen it all? In fact, I don't think we've been over here. I've not done this in any kind of organized order. It's all been very chaotic, because what I haven't seen anywhere yet is the Creator Tavern, where I'm supposed to be able to go. Uh, is that the Creator Tavern over there? Next to the festival stage? Because the Creator Tavern is normally where, as a creator, you can go and hang out and let people know you're there, and they can come and find you. It looks like this is it, a very scaled down version of it to what there's been in the past which is probably why I completely missed it before. But we have got a little creator area here. 
which has got to be said is not as appealing as it has been in previous years, which is why I don't think there's anybody in it. Then we've got the meet and greet sections, which I don't usually know who anybody is on these. I'm a little bit out of touch with, with what the cool people like. So we're not going to worry too much about that. What I can see is that this big meet and greet section at the end doesn't have anybody on it. Apparently TikTok are here, but I've not seen TikTok anywhere. But I'm seeing lots of these TikTok posters and screens around the place, but I've not actually seen a TikTok stand. So I'm a little bit confused about where they're hiding. I feel like there's a big section of this event I've somehow missed. Oh, I was going to try and get a tea, but it looks like tea is closed for the day. This is a disaster. What time is it? It's not even 5 p.m. And the tea looks like it's already done. Oh, they've run out of milk. It's a disaster. I'll take mine. Oh, they've run out of milk and tea. Wow. I mean, I can see tea at the back there. I want tea. I have to buy my own drink now, aren't I? This is not okay. There we go. I knew I'd somehow missed an area before. So we've got some playable games over here. And then Special Effect, who are an awesome charity that I've worked with before. A little, uh, a little sofa next to the streaming zone that I was in earlier. And then whatever this is. I'm not entirely sure what this is at all. It looks like they're doing something with VR. Some kind of sport, team game kind of thing using VR. Which... Okay, so we can see on this screen what they can see. So like firing fireballs and things. Okay, so they're firing fireballs at critters. Okay, now I understand what's going on. And then we are now back, looped back round to where we were before with indie games, the board game section. And then I think over here we've got retro, which I think is the one bit we've not properly seen which is always rammed. There's so many people in this retro gaming section because everybody loves retro gaming. We've got some old arcade machines, some old consoles in here as well. It's not a huge amount. Certainly less than there was at EGX last year. I'm not even sure what that is. But it's a nice little selection of some cool older stuff that I grew up with and then some strange stuff that I've absolutely never seen before I don't know why so much of it is in black and white just to give it that real retro feel when it's only on an N64 which an N64 in my mind is never going to be a retro console I still had an N64 when I was an adult. So this is the bit that makes Insomnia so uniquely different from other conventions because in there we have a whole load of tents where people camp for the weekend and they literally just come along, set up a tent, sleep in there and then head into the LAN room and play games. It's like Glastonbury, but for nerds. And I am back in my hotel room after what has been a really, really long day, an awesome day, but a long day at i70. Streaming this morning was loads of fun. Um, if you haven't been able to, I suggest you head over to Lelujo 2, check out the highlights of that stream. We did a lot of uh, convention stuff as well as the traditional football manager stuff that we do on those videos. So um, that was quite cool. I really enjoyed doing that. Really appreciate getting the opportunity to do that when I come along here. They've actually given me a goodie bag as well. I have a load of Nick's makeup that I'm going to take home for Anna. 
Um, just, I think they sponsored the event. There's, there's loads, there is loads in here. I'm not gonna show you all of that, but it is a big bag, absolutely chock full of makeup. So thank you very much to the good people of Insomnia and Nyx for, uh, for letting me have that to take home for Anna. She'll like that very much. Big thanks for Anna. Uh, but I had a great day. I am in the convention again tomorrow. I suspect I won't need to do any more filming because I think I've, I've seen everything there is to see in there today i've done the full tour i've gone in and looked at everything done everything so tomorrow is going to be all about just going in buying the bits that i want maybe playing some of the games that are available and just hanging out with some of the people that are in there bit hanging out in that creator area um looking to meet some of you guys looking to meet some of the other creators that are here and just generally having a nice little chilled day before i head home so i think we're going to wrap this video up here if you did come along to insomnia let me know what you thought of the event or if you're watching this because you're trying to decide whether to come to a future one let me know if there's anything in the video that you would have liked to have seen that i haven't shown you i've done lots of convention videos over the years and we always keep doing them in different styles and i never ask which style you'd prefer so what did you think of this one i made a conscious effort to show you much more of the show floor this time and hopefully that's appreciated it's one of the things people have asked for in the past but i've had a really good day i'm looking forward to tomorrow as well hopefully you've enjoyed the video too um, there is going to be more convention content coming up very soon on the channel we've got mcm comic con coming up in just over a month like i said at the start of the video convention season has now begun and there's going to be lots more over the course of the next few months with comic con TwitchCon, there'll be another insomnia there'll be another comic con there'll be egx there's birmingham there's there's a lot there are a lot of conventions and i plan to see lots of them and put lots of videos about them on the channel like i always do and in addition to all that of course you've got all of the travel stuff that's going to be hitting very soon as well including in a couple of days time the start of the long-awaited switzerland videos if you want to see my review of this hotel by the way i released that video a couple of days ago so go watch that one now if you like this one leave a thumbs up thanks for watching and i'll see you again very soon